Hi there, this is Scott with Moroso Performance. Today what we're going to show you firsthand is exactly how a Moroso radiator cap goes on a lot of the coolant tanks that we sell. This is an example here of a Subaru WRX intercooler tank that I'm going to show you. Now the radiator caps that Moroso sells are very similar to the store bought ones, but obviously these are a little bit higher pressure instead of for racing applications. Our tech line gets a lot of inquiries about exactly how these things go on to our water necks properly, and we'd like to show you. Now every one of our tanks that we build here are pressure tested with one of our caps on it before they leave to make sure there's no leaks. Now quite often, people don't understand that there are two segments to how this cap goes on. Typical cap, set it on, there's one click. Well, the one click only gets it on part of the way and hasn't quite seated it enough that it'll seal off where your overflow is, but it's still able to get by and come out around the cap where the O-ring is not seating against the face of the water neck. There's a second push down and turn to make that happen. Once you've done the second motion on this filler neck, it's totally sealed. We want to show you firsthand exactly what this looks like. Okay, we're going to show you exactly how we pressure test the tanks at Moroso Performance once they've been welded. Now we set them with about 20 PSI regulated air into the tank. So I've got the cap that I discussed earlier, and we're going to put it on and go just to the first click. Now the first click is basically sealing the plunger seal to the base of the water neck, but the main seal of the cap isn't fully set on there yet. So when we put this in the water and put 20 PSI of air to it, you can see that at least. Now, if I go and put it to the second click and know that it's now closed all the way, you can see at 20 PSI, there's no leaks. I back it off that one click, there's our leak. Back all the way, we're sealed up. Well, we're hoping this video has given you more insight on how to properly seat a cap to a Moroso coolant tank. If you have any questions, please go to moroso.com or call the Moroso Tech Line. And thanks for tuning in for this episode of Moroso TV.